everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, we're gonna look at the relationship between the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. So remember, the hypothalamus is the control center for the endocrine system, and the pituitary gland is an extension just below the hypothalamus. Now, the hypothalamus can be found at the base of the brain. You can see it here. I've drawn it up twice because what you'll find is with the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland branching off, you can actually separate the pituitary gland into its anterior and posterior lobes. So in this image here, I've got the posterior lobe highlighted. In this image here, I've got the anterior lobe highlighted. Now the reason why we're looking at them separately is because they both release different hormones and they're both stimulated through different mechanisms. For example, what you'll find is the posterior pituitary portion of the pituitary gland is an extension of the hypothalamus. Now the hypothalamus is neural tissue, okay? It's part of the brain, which means the posterior lobe of the pituitary gland is also neural tissue and extends out, which means the conversation from the hypothalamus to the posterior pituitary is through nerves. If we look at the anterior pituitary gland, it is not an extension of the hypothalamus. It's a true endocrine gland, it's endocrine tissue, which means there are no neurons that are extending from the hypothalamus to the anterior pituitary, which means the hypothalamus, in order to have a conversation with the anterior pituitary, it needs to talk to it via a bloodstream. And this is called the hypophyseal portal system. Now let's first focus on posterior pituitary gland. Because it's an extension of the hypothalamus, like I said, you've got the nerves coming down. Now that also means the posterior pituitary portion is not a true endocrine gland, which means it doesn't produce its own hormones. It can only store hormones and release hormones. Where does it get these hormones from? From the hypothalamus itself. The hypothalamus will produce two hormones, transmit them down, these neurons, and tell the posterior lobe to store the, these hormones and release them, okay? What are these hormones? These hormones are oxytocin and antidiuretic hormone. You can see here that oxytocin is produced here in the hypothalamus called the paraventricular nucleus. A nucleus is just a collection of cell bodies in the central nervous system. And this supraoptic nucleus is where the antidiuretic hormone is produced. Now, oxytocin is an important hormone for connection, but also an important hormone when it comes to uterine contractions and also milk letdown. So this is ejection of milk for breastfeeding mothers. ADH, antidiuretic hormone, antidiuresis. Diuresis means to pee out. Antidiuresis means to stop peeing out. ADH is released when we need to hold on to water. So if we're dehydrated, for example. Sends it down. Now the stalk between the hypothalamus and the pituitary is called the infundibulum. I like that name. And that's where this, these neurons project down and stored to the posterior pituitary where they'll release into the bloodstream both oxytocin or ADH, depending on which one needs to be released. When we look at the anterior pituitary gland, like I said, there is no neural connection. So in order for the hypothalamus to tell the anterior pituitary gland to release its hormones, it needs to do it by releasing its own hormones, which means this is a hormonal stimulus for the release of other hormones, and this is a neural stimulus for the release of hormones. So the hypothalamus will produce and release a number of different hormones that stimulate the anterior pituitary. What are these hormones? Well, we've got thyrotropin releasing hormone that stimulates thyroid stimulating hormone. We've got prolactin releasing hormone that stimulates the release of prolactin. Gonadotropin releasing hormone stimulates the two gonadotropins, which is follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. We've got corticotropin releasing hormone that stimulates the release of adrenocorticotropic hormone and growth hormone releasing hormone stimulates the release of growth hormone. It does this by producing these hormones, releasing them into the hypophyseal portal system that travels down and then hormonally stimulates these particular hormones from being released into the bloodstream and having their wide stream effects okay so this is the relationship between the hypothalamus and the anterior and posterior lobes of the pituitary